Hey, Cal! Yeah, what? Well, I'm just reading up about pensions. Yeah. Have you thought about yours? Mum, retirement's literally years away. Why do I worry about it now? Well, to be honest, Callum, that's what I thought at your age, but it's better to start now. Why is that? Well, it's something a lot of you don't get taught at school. No. And I thought you automatically get a state pension, mm. but it's actually something you need to qualify for. Oh, really? Well, how do you qualify for it then? So, you know when you earn, you get a national insurance number? Yeah. Well, you have to pay 35 years of NI payments to get the full state pension. Oh, that's actually quite a long time. Yeah, but obviously, Callum, it affects everybody, and especially women, yeah. because obviously they take time off to raise their families, bring their children up. But did you know you can actually pay your partner's national insurance contributions while they're actually on maternity leave, so they don't miss out? Oh, so they won't miss out on their pension part? No. That's so clever. One last thing. How do you keep on top of it? Well, it's a really easy thing to do, Callum, if you've got your government gateway ID. Go on to Google and type in check your national insurance record and then enter it onto the government UK site. Don't panic if you have missing years. You may be able to back pay. But the best thing is just to follow the instructions on the site. Easier than I thought. You really know it all. Cal, just one thing. Also bear in mind that even the full state pension may fall short of your outgoings. Anything you can do to save more towards your retirement via a top-up private pension to avoid income tax in the process is probably a good idea. God, I wish they taught me this at school. So guys, whatever your circumstances, don't bury your head in the sand. Master your money.